You guys know what I love about Nintendo sometimes? They really like to mess with my plans. <laughs> okay, that's not really fair. I had a video recorded for yesterday where I was talking about the weirdness of Nintendo this summer. And to be honest, this news today doesn't really change that. However, I'm really glad I didn't release that video because there was a small segment in there where I talked a little bit about Splatoon 3 that I'm going to have to cut out now before I release it, which, or at least maybe not cut out, but change. Because today, Nintendo did announce a brand new Nintendo Direct. I'm not going to sit here and make you wait five minutes for the news. Here it is. On August 10th at 6 a.m. Pacific, so 8 a.m. Central Time for me, there will be a Splatoon 3 Direct presentation. And the tweet says, join us in the Splatlands for roughly 30 minutes of updates, which is a massive Direct. That's actually longer than the 20 minutes they did for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That's 100 plus hours worth of content. So this is clearly going to be the Direct that's supposed to prove to us what Splatoon 3 is, why we needed it, because there's a lot of people out there saying Splatoon 3 should have just been DLC, Splatoon 3 should have just been, well, I don't know, a free update maybe, I, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, there's a lot of people that aren't sold that we needed Splatoon 3. Now, I'm not one of those people, and I was going to say this in my video yesterday, you'll see this video uh, at some point, probably later today or this week, but I'm of mind that Splatoon 3 is what we need. See, Splatoon 3 to me has a number of upgrades already. As an example, visually speaking, there is a massive increase in quality to me. I understand for most, they're not going to see that. That's because Splatoon has such an amazing art direction where that art direction can mask that there's actually some issues with the visuals at times in Splatoon 2 and even Splatoon 1. And Splatoon 3 doesn't seemingly have these issues from what we've seen so far, hence the big upgrade. But you know what? We're not going to dive too deep into that because in the end, you noticing these differences or not is is, is going to be highly subjective. It's sort of like debating frame rates between 30 and 60. 60 is objectively better, but whether or not you care about 30 or 60 is a subjective preference that some people can't even tell the difference. You know, we're all different. So, what we've been waiting for is obviously the gameplay mechanics, the modes, the items and weapons and, and abilities. Now, we've already seen new abilities added to the game, but for some reason we forget about that when talking about it because since those abilities were unveiled, we pretty much have just been seeing the old abilities and the old items featured again because they're clearly going to include all of the old weapons or at least a majority of the old weapons and abilities in the game. Basically, all the old content in terms of weapons and abilities would be there. We don't know about maps and all that. It would be kind of weird if some of those maps are here because this takes place in an entirely new area called the Splatlands. So I would presume we're going to have completely brand new maps, but what do I know? What I will say is... After this Direct, we will know everything we need to know. And what I find interesting here is Nintendo gave us a two-day warning. This is not like them. That, in particular, I find to be fascinating. We usually get about a 24-hour warning, sometimes a little bit less. This time, they're giving us two days. Why are they giving us two days when they don't do that before? Well, I mean, Pokemon gave us two days as well. Let's give the Pokemon company some credit with their Pokemon Presents. But Nintendo didn't do that. They didn't give us two days with the uh, third-party Direct. They didn't give us two days with the Xenoblade Chronicles Direct. But they're, here they are giving us two days with the Splatoon 3 Direct. I think this is because they want everybody to show up to this direct presentation because it's 30 minutes, it's a blowout, and they're about to prove to us what this game is and potentially sell millions and millions and millions of more copies at launch. Now, I, I mean, I don't know that they're going to sell millions and millions at launch. I have no idea. Maybe they will. I mean, got to remember, Splatoon 2 sold over 15 million, so it is possible that conceivable this game could sell 3, 4, 5 million at launch. I have no idea. It's going to be interesting to see if Splatoon 3 Long Haul can match Splatoon 2 sales or exceed it because obviously Splatoon 2 had a lot longer on the market to get those evergreen sales going. Splatoon 3 with the current Switch, I'm not so sure that it's going to be able to, to have the exact same long tail. I know we don't know how much longer Switch still has. We don't know if Nintendo's going to extend the generation with a, a hardware refresh rather than a hardware replace. Or we don't know if it's going to be a cross-gen title because Splatoon 3, in theory, could also be a cross-generation title in the similar vein that we saw with, I don't know, Mario Kart 8, except I do think Splatoon 4 would eventually release on the other platform because, hey, 
We got Splatoon 2 and 3 in the same generation. So obviously we would get Splatoon 4 on the next generation. But maybe maybe they poured over do a little DLSS magic for Splatoon 3 to make it a cross-generation title. I don't I don't know. I mean, at this point, any game coming out at this point in the Switch's life cycle, I sort of assume Nintendo has some sort of plan to have it there day one on the next platform and not just with backwards compatibility, which I really hope is there, but with, 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 with some console-specific upgrades. At least that's what I'm hoping because that's just going to extend the longevity of these games that aren't going to be on the market otherwise long enough. Uh, it might be viewed as a disappointment in sales just because they didn't have as long on the market uh, to attain those sales. I mean, remember, Splatoon 2's had like five years on the market uh, to get the sales that it does. Splatoon 3, you know, might have one or two. So, yeah, we, we need to we need to obviously future-proof that. Nintendo, I think, knows what they're doing. Assuming Nintendo ever knows what they're doing is usually a big risk. But I'm excited for this Direct. This is a direct I'm probably more excited for than Xenoblade Chronicles 3 because I just, I like Splatoon more than I like Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Sue me. It's just more my kind of game these days. Uh, I used to be really into these big multiplayer games in the past, and I'm really curious if they're able to do some new unique things with this. Can we get local multiplayer in multiplayer? That, wouldn't that be something? If I could have Eric on stream join me on my Switch in split screen and do online multiplayer together. I, I think that would be rather, rather interesting, even though obviously people not playing split screen would have an advantage. I, I think this is an interesting time for Nintendo because Splatoon 3 is literally their big seller. I know we have Pokemon coming, but that's made by Game Freak and the Pokemon Company, things that Nintendo does not have 100% control over. Nintendo owns the studio that made Splatoon 3. Nintendo does not have any other game coming out this year that they created and published that's going to sell better than Splatoon 3. This is their big seller of the second half of 2022, so I'm really curious how well this is going to do. Now, they have other big sellers coming, Mario plus Travis Sparks of Hope. That's their big seller from a third-party company. Obviously, second-party-wise and, and IP ownership-wise, uh, you, you, you can kind of look at uh, the Pokemon games. It's obviously a big seller coming from that space, and this is Nintendo's first-party big seller. I don't think they're going to have anything else surprise announced that's going to sell better than this. You know, Even if they somehow surprise announce a Zelda port or something, I don't think that's going to touch the sales of Splatoon 3. I think Splatoon 3 is on a whole different level, and Splatoon almost always been on a whole different level than Zelda from the original game back on Wii U. If you can imagine this game, this franchise, being bigger than Zelda almost from day one, it's insane. Now, you can argue, I mean, Breath of the Wild's a $25 million. I, I get it, I get it. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully Breath of the Wild 2 can repeat. But for now, the focus is Splatoon 3. This is the big first-party IP I think is going to carry us until Breath of the Wild 2 if you're just looking at first party. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. I will see you guys bright and early at 8 a.m. Well, probably we'll go probably an hour full early uh, because why not? Splatoon 3 deserves it. And my dog is whining in the background. He needs a little a little loving. So I better get going here, get this video out, and go spend some time with my dog. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. I am Nathaniel Robichance from Nintendo Prime. And by the way, the code if you're looking for it, been waiting for it for today, yeah, it's not in this video. Sorry. Sorry. It's going to be in the next one. I have multiple videos coming this day, so if you're looking for the code for that giveaway, just stay tuned. Catch you guys in the next one.